month 11 of Patreon. Dude, quarantine special. We've got In My Time of Dying by Led Zeppelin. You have Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2. And then it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And we do by ACDC. Some great picks. Link in description. We'll See catch you there. there. Hey, guys. Hope you're having a great day. It was a great life. Dude. Back. Dire Straits. It's been, it's been a minute, dude. Yeah, we uh we saw a few comments in the in like in the last video. Where we're like, okay, you should do these songs, you should do this, but it wasn't a ton, and so we were like, yeah. huh, I wonder if maybe this is all the sauce that Dire Straits has to give out. Like a lot of people were saying, do Sultans a Swing live, and we're definitely down to do it, but we also didn't want to have three Dire Straits songs and two of them be for the same song, the the same song. So we'll definitely get to it if if that's the one where it's like, hey, they have some good songs, but really we want you to see their live show for. Uh, Sultan's a swing, then we'll go ahead and do that. But uh, I mean, I guess just let us know. Yeah, but absolutely. Brothers in arms, that's what we're doing today. Exciting time, dude. I'm excited to hear something different. I've listened to the same two songs. So I want like, more. Yeah. I, I can say confidently, I want more. Your chicks for free. Money for nothing. Your chicks for free. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good, dude. Yeah. It's just good. It's catchy. All right, man. Let's go and dive into it. Let's Brothers in arms. Cool atmosphere. Pink Floyd, right? But my home is the loneliness And always will be Someday you'll return to Your valleys and your farms And you'll know Fields of destruction, baptisms of fire. Oh, dude, baptisms of fire. I've witnessed your suffering as the battle reached high. So many different 
Let me bid you farewell Every man has to die But it's written in the stars In every line in your palm We're fools to make one All our brothers and our I liked that way more than I thought I would. Here's the deal. At six different points during that song, I convinced myself I didn't like it <laughs> at the end. Like, I was kind of almost crafting, like, here are the reasons I don't like it. At one point, I was like, um... Here's, I'm going to back this up. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah. I was like, the atmosphere is cool, but if I want to hear this type of atmosphere, I'll listen to, like, November Rain, because I feel like November Rain did it better. And at the end of it, I was just like... Whoa, I'm way too into this. Like, so, hey. Like, Dude, once that organ started going off. You throw some fucking Hammond B3 organ in anything, and it sauces it up Dude, immediately. It became this, like, dreamland. Dude, that's B3 of, for you. That's so, crazy. That's what that is. It, I mean, yeah. So, some fucking B3, and then just that creamy, like, slightly yeah. overdriven guitar tone. Yeah. It sounded a lot like Pink Floyd, like you were saying, that, that yeah. David Gilmore type of guitar tone. And even, like, the play style seemed similar in terms of mm-hmm. how he's, like, milking different, like, notes. And, and even a singing, kind of. Yeah. It just all kind of had an atmosphere of that. Slightly. Floyd-esque, sort of. Yeah. Ugh. Craziness. The only thing um, about the singing in comparison to Pink Floyd is, like, I feel like with Floyd, I can always, like, at least hear, like, what they're saying, you know? Whereas here, there are certain like um phrases where i was like, i wish she would have spoken up or saying just a tiny bit louder Do you think that's because of your familiarity with floyd no if you just actually listen like you can almost always like hear what they're saying especially when it's like that soft like when it's like roger waters like singing like almost yeah. like poetry you can okay. he, he's always like he has his like super soft tone but he's always very like distinct on like the different like letters and making sure that they're all sounding out and stuff yeah whereas he kind of like would trail off like halfway through a word or like not even you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which I still really like. And I feel like once you know the lyrics, it's almost so powerful to where he's saying it, he's singing a phrase and he doesn't even have to finish the last word because you already know what the word is. And yeah. like, just, I think part of that emotion is that it's like fading away almost. Yeah, I thought it was killer. The, the only thing that I I started, I, I didn't like at the beginning and I still didn't like it at the end <clears throat> yep. was the snare tone. Hmm. He's doing a cross stick on a snare, it sounds like, and then they're doing like a gate, like a reverb thing like a like a plate re- something and yeah. whatever the reverb i think is a little too tinny because cross sticking is already kind of tinny it's a kind of that timbre where it's like like yeah. oh, that's not even a good example like you know it's just like yeah. a little 
So I just thought it made it a little too bright for the you rest of the song. I think it blended well with the rest yeah, of Yeah, especially since <clears throat> everything else was so low tonally. It's like piercing through the mix almost. Yeah, and, and I just wish they would have made it a little... Like, the cross stick was really cool. And I loved... I thought the drumming was phenomenal. Yeah. And that was just maybe a sound design <clears throat> choice that I, I wasn't a fan of. A little of. too bright. Yeah, just a little too bright. Um, I know what you mean. But really, that was it. I, I think everything else uh, was really cool. It was awesome. It's like, it's so weird that that both of us didn't think we were gonna like it, and I wonder what that was. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess just the way it started, it it just seemed like it, it felt kind of corny to me at the beginning. Yeah, it, it felt like they were trying to produce this really commercial song at first, you know. Yeah, or something where it's like I'm trying to make you tear up. It's like watching like a Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah, it felt like it was at first. It gave off the, the vibe like he the was going to try too hard. The angels. <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, okay, uh, I'm gonna try too hard now. Yeah. But then it's like it didn't come across like he was trying too hard at all, really. Yeah, you know what I mean. It seemed almost like. It seems like we were predisposed to thinking that, and this is maybe where that starts from. Like where it's yeah. like, no, I'm super being, I'm very being very genuine with this song, and then people after this maybe adopted this same sort of style and did it disingenuously. Yeah, no, maybe exactly. That's why that, that makes hundred percent sense. But no, this felt so just like you melt right into the song. I feel like this song yeah. is dangerous to drive to at night or something because I feel like oh, I could just yeah, dude. even if I'm even, even if my eyes are open, I'm watching the road. You're but not like, paying attention. I'm, my like the the light of my eyes is gone. I'm somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, you know, it's like. That's what it seems like. This cannot be on. We this folks, is not on the road trip playlist. PSA: No road trip playlist. This is this is sitting in your bedroom playlist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or camping. Maybe this is at the end of the road trip p- playlist. Yeah. Maybe once the the campfire is roaring a little yeah. bit, kind of. And you have a little speaker it. on, and you're just fucking like sitting back, doing whatever greenery you might have, <laughs> uh, whether that's cabbage, dude, or you're cooking some chili up. This is a chili song, bro. <laughs> Stirring some fucking chili while you're listening to this, looking at the stars. What? You're telling me? I'm gonna pick the picture. Okay, paint it. So you, so you, you, you got the camp set up. You hiked like a mile and a half after like okay. this six or eight hour long road trip. Okay. So you're in the mountains. You, you hiked up yeah. there. So you not only parked, got all the stuff out, and and you took all your stuff, lugged Is it. The up tent's the already up or no? Tents up. Okay. Tents already up. Fires going. Every, it's been everything's been done that had to be done for like the last 45 minutes so you're kind of just chilling yeah and you're just killing time to when you could eat food because you're like you're like excited for that like end of the day camp, first camp dinner where you're yeah. like you know what we've had trail mix all day we haven't really eaten <laughs> and so you you take out some ground beef you start searing that up right yeah and you fucking take some chili in there then you're like, I'm gonna go nuts, and you put like some corn in there, something like you're getting a real Tex Mex up in this. I've actually never been a corn and chili kind of guy. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know why. Same it. thing with like corn and salad. I can't do it. I don't. I don't know why. All right, well then, there's no corn in this. Vision corn, it's either cream corn or on the cob. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna say put cream corn and chili. I was like, that's you're putting that's the wrong too corn. far. Way too way far. too far. Anyways, so you're cooking this chili up. It's it's seeming great. Yeah. Let's say you're you just won like a regional chili cook off. So you know the chili's <laughs> already gonna be dank. You're cooking this up. It's all, and you get it scooped up. You're like, oh, we've got bowls. So you have to put them in cups, right? You got those like steel little cups. And you're just sitting out looking at the stars, and you're so zoned in on this song that the chili gets cold. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Do you picture that? That's all right, dude. Okay, fair. So. <laughs> Point being, it's a great song. All right. So what's the next thing we got to do by Dire Straits? Ooh. Is it going to be Sultans on the Swing Live or a different studio cut? Rating. So true. We forgot the last rating. I know. I know. It's a... What did we say? It was a B plus for the last one? The, the Thin Lizzy song? Yeah. B plus for Thin Lizzy. For this okay. one, um, I think it's an A. I think it's an A. I, I, I wanted to act... I was actively trying to dislike it. I don't know why. I'm just being honest. I, I just was. And I so still I'm going to really find a reason it. to hate on this shit. And I really... Yeah. So I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought it was a great song. So A. No, I agree. I, th- I think A is appropriate as well. Yeah. Do you like it more than either Money for Nothing or Sullins and Swing? I don't think so. Okay, I agree. No, I agree hundred percent. I agree hundred percent. Souls on the Swing, by the way, started off kind of like like the first first listen. Souls on the Swing, it's great, but after like ten more listens, it became awesome. It's it's I don't know how because usually songs like that it starts off exciting, but then like oh maybe it'll get stale. But it's the opposite. It started off. It wasn't stale the first time necessarily, but it only grew it only in terms it only of marinated more. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, agree hundred yeah. percent. Solid A and. Uh, on to Friday. On to Friday. Catch you guys there.